Where you sink? Hi. Tell him hello. I haven't had you last few days, have I? I've been with Dad. I'm gonna. I'm giving her a shot of Prevail. Um, it's kind of an anti-inflammatory. It kind of just hopefully get her some energy back. We went ahead and gave her some more grain. We make some DDG in there on top of her hay. I got some more electrolytes we'll give her. But why don't she bowl like the other calves? Well, because she's weak. So, I don't know. Just doing what I can at this point. Okay. Oh, you wanna? You want to talk about what we just mixed, sir? This. Talk loud. Do you know what it is? Electrolytes. Kind of like Gatorade, Powerade. But just... not good for humans. Yeah, yeah, don't give it to humans. Here, come here. Well, she's hungry, so that's good. She's hungry. I'll have Jason come down and help me pick her up here in a little bit. We'll let her eat. What's your question? Okay, so uh, is it is DGGs like uh, candy for cows? Pretty much. So what it is is it's real bio refined uh, corn. So think when they crack corn, like mashed potatoes. So you know you cook the potato and it comes mush. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we mix it all together and it makes mashed potatoes. Okay, same thing happens with DDG. They cook the corn down to make ethanol, so it's a byproduct. It smells good, don't it? I yeah, it's real. Don't take, don't don't eat it after it's been on that. Um, so it smells really sweet. It's really tasty. Um, it's easy protein to add into any kind of um, feed ration that you want to do. It's also probably the cheapest way to go right now to add protein. Uh, soybean meal is also a good one to add into it. But right now, if soybeans are just kind of really high, so that's out of the question for us. So, what else you got questions about this morning? Anything else? What kind of shots do you give her? Okay, so I've given her um, an LA200, which is a small antibiotic. I did that for a few days. It wasn't working. I contacted the vet. He said give her a higher dose of antibiotics, which is a Draxin shot, which is what I gave her two days ago. And then today I gave her an anti-inflammatory, kind of like that... You know, when your knees hurt, I gave you some um, Tylenol or Advil or ibuprofen. Same thing for her. That's that's what we did for calves, for horses, dogs. It, there's different kinds, but it all kind of cross animals. reference animals. It all kind of cross references. Okay, so let's see if she'll drink, and then we gotta get busy. Feeling. We're gonna take uh, uh, 44 over, and she's gonna haul wood today. Fun stuff. Fun, fun stuff. All part of it. So wintertime's this big thing for us. Like we do a lot of the projects that nobody has time to do during the summer. Don't he? He's a bull. Yeah. And 16s is a bull too. Mm -hmm. They're both going to be banded. So Usually it's by her. Yeah, she don't tarry off too far yeah, from it. Too. And we need to tag 40s, baby. Huh? 40. 40. And then um, that little heifer needs her tag. Yes. They're happy mamas. They're 16. That's our baby right there. Stand up. Yeah. No. 
That's not. It's one of these up here. It has to be here, though. It's... It's right there. Yeah. It's this big fluff ball right here. Yeah. He's got the white winky. What baby was that? They're starting to really go after this now, I think. Yeah, it's like a sweet treat for them. I wish you guys could smell it. Like, to smell it is just... Good stuff, huh, mamas? Christmas treats. You could even, like, even put in, like, your protein cubes to add in, like, your beef cubes. You can even add those in there and chop them up and make them in there. You know? Or add your dry molasses. Just like we do for our creek feed. You can throw that in there. If you... That's why we contact them the other day about the soil. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the more you can add it. And then somebody was mentioning, uh, like, your, your uh, what are they called? Your beet pulp. Yep. You can do beet pulp and beet root. Um, there's a lot. I mean, you can, there's a lot of stuff you can add in that mixer to extend the hay. You know, we just got to research and figure out what mix works best for us. Yeah, and where we can get it. Happy Sunday. It's pretty frosty out this morning. But still, such an amazing view. So pretty. Go do some choring. Come back and make some pancakes. I don't know what the day holds. I'm going to walk down and check this calf I've been doctoring. Um, it's frustrating and it's upsetting. Um, I'm doing everything that I can to help her get better. And unfortunately, sometimes it just plain stinks. Um, <laughs> no matter how much you put into them, they just, they don't always, they don't always get better. And... That's part of owning livestock in general, and it's never fun to deal with, but unfortunately it does happen. So, all you can do is treat it and try to make them better. What do you think we owe? Go to the arena for a while? Better wait. Come on, Rosie. Come here, Ryder. Come here. No. Come on, Ryder. Come here. Ryder down. What are we doing? We open that fence. Go.
Yep. Yeah, yeah this one. Go ahead, sissy. You can put the top one on. All right, go put the next one on. Okay. Oh, it's already on the next post. Yay. We gotta grab the. Wait, you can take it. It's on. Just go. Off and go. Okay, so I'm gonna go show you the calves, not the cows. This the calves. So we are going to go check the cows out. So this is where this is where we're at. We're at the creek farm. So I'm a cowgirl. This is where the cows are. So we have these cows and these are ours. So we put up these fence a little while, a while, a while ago. This is where our cows are. We have our trees. We're going across here. And we, no talking. Yeah, it goes. Come on, kids! I have my makeshift bucket. Come on, kids! Mind you, these are the wean calves that we are teaching the ways of rotational grazing, polywire, Yeah. 